Hi, I'm Mike, and today I'm going to show you how to install a soft start kit on your air conditioner. But first, let's talk very briefly about the advantages of these. You may notice that the lights in your house dim every time your air conditioner starts up. That's because there's a compressor in here that draws a huge amount of current at startup. And these soft start kits will reduce that current by 60 or 70 percent. That huge current reduction will reduce the wear and tear on your compressor and also will protect the windings because they don't have that huge amount of current flowing through them at startup. So your condenser unit will likely last longer. Also, since the current is reduced, you can run a air conditioning system with a standard size generator and on a small solar electrical system. This soft start kit and some other soft start kits also act as a surge protector and will sacrifice itself preserving your condenser in the event of an electrical surge like during a lightning storm or something. So there are several advantages to these soft start kits. Now you may have heard of a hard start kit. You've got soft start kits and, and you've got hard start kits and they operate completely differently. The soft start kit reduces the current by 60 to 70 percent. A hard start kit actually gives an extra boost in current. It can help an older unit with a compressor that's wearing out to start up and it can also help an air conditioner to start up on a generator by giving that extra boost in current that the generator is not able to provide. So let's get started with the installation. Okay, so you access the electrical components by taking off this cover. So I've got to remove these four screws. Okay, so I've got the electricity still on. You obviously want to turn off the electricity before you start messing with the electrical components but I've left it on because I want to do a test to see how much current the compressor pulls on startup and then we're going to test it afterwards and see just how much it reduces the current so I'm going to connect my meter to the common wire and I'm going to hit in rush and we'll see what it does So we're at 68.8 amps, basically 69 amps is what it took to start up the compressor. Okay, now we're going to shut the power off, we're going to get this thing installed and we'll try this again. Okay, so I've turned the unit off and now to cut the power to it, I'm going to remove this disconnect and I'm just going to set it on top. So now this is de-energized, but there can still be voltage stored in this capacitor. So you want to discharge the capacitor. And the way to do that is just use an insulated screwdriver and touch across the contacts. That will remove any stored up power and remove any risk of getting a, a shock. Now the first thing we need to do is decide where to install this. If you've got room inside here, great. If you don't, you could install it on the outside and run your cable up through here and make your connections. But I think I've got enough room right here to install this behind the enclosure to make it even more watertight. And this kit comes with screws and foam tape. I've got coils just on the other side of this wall and I might be safe, but I'm not going to take a chance. I'm going to use this foam tape to install this here, and then we'll make the connections. Okay, so let's look at these wires. On the soft start kit, there's four wires. The orange wire is going to connect to the capacitor to the Herm connection which is for the compressor. This brown wire it specifically it's the only one that has a warning label on it. It says connect this wire only to the run winding of the compressor. This white wire is going to connect to the run wire at the capacitor 
and the black wire is going to connect to the common to the C at the contactor. Okay, so let's look at these components. This is the capacitor. It's got a Herm connection, which is for the compressor. It's got a fan connection, and it's got the common. You want to connect the orange wire to the Herm, so we'll find that momentarily. And this is your contactor. So the first thing we need to do is look at the schematic, the wiring diagram on the back of this panel. And if you look here, here's the compressor. You can see the C, that's common, and you can see the black. So the black wire is the common. Then you see, here's the run windings. And if you follow it, it goes to the red wire. And then this one, is the start. It goes to the orange. So the black is common, the orange is the starting, and the red is for running. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is connect this to the herm on the capacitor. And this is pretty easy. We've got orange and orange. So we will just slide this connector down make sure it's good and firm and there we go next we need to find the other wires that run to the compressor I think it's gonna be easier if I cut this zip tie so if you remember from the schematic the red wire is the run wire that runs from the contactor to the compressor. So this wire is going to get cut. And we're going to strip a little bit of insulation off both ends of it. About a half an inch is good. And wanna twist these so they make a good connection. So, so as the tag says, this brown wire connects to the run wire to the compressor. That's this red wire that we just cut that runs up here down to the compressor. And this kit comes with these Wago connectors. And the way you use it, you just raise this up. You insert your wire and push this down to lock it. Make sure it gets pushed up in there far. Push that down, and we've got a good connection. Okay, now the white wire will connect to the run wire from the contactor. So again, on this Wago, you lift the clip, insert the wire, close it, make sure you've got a snug connection. Okay, and then the black wire will connect to the common at the co of the contactor. And that's back here. Just slide it on. And that's how simple it is to wire this up. Okay, we're done. And now we want to check the inrush current to see just how much of a difference this makes. But this soft start kit needs five starts in order to optimize performance. So I'm gonna have to run this air conditioner for a little while. Then we'll use my clamp meter and we'll see just how much the current has been reduced. So let's reinstall the disconnect. Okay, so now we've got to be careful because we do have electricity here now. Okay, so this has gone through several startup cycles already and we are going to now see how much startup current it pulls. We're gonna set this to amperage and hit the inrush. I'm gonna zoom in on that and we'll see what happens. Look at that, 
20 and a half amps compared to 69 amps. That's a dramatic reduction. That's gonna save a lot of wear and tear on that compressor. Let's see how much quieter this is compared to before we installed the soft start kit. Maybe it's just a bit quieter, but not a lot of difference. So all we've got left to do is just close this thing back up. Okay, that's all there is to installing one of these soft start kits. Took me about 15 minutes. The kit itself costs about $400. It's a little bit pricey, but compared to the cost of a new condenser unit, I think it's worth the investment. I hope you've learned something in this video. I hope it gives you something to think about and I hope you'll consider installing one of these. Just make sure you take the proper electrical precautions when you're doing it. I sure do appreciate you watching this video and if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks again. Have a wonderful day.